Hi girls and guys, I'm Mr. Tracky and welcome to another episode of Epic or Forget It. In today's episode, I'll be covering the Karma 45 full bus and letting you know whether this gun is epic or whether you should forget it. More after this. Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. Welcome to another episode of Epic or Forget It. In today's episode, we are going to be covering the Karma 45 full bus. So, it's weapon perks. Firstly, we have Rushdown, which greatly reduces spread while jumping and sliding. And then we have Sharpshooter, which gives increased damage range, which also stacks with Rifled Barrel. Now, this gun is a very effective SMG in all manners. And... Um, the epic version is no exception in fact it's um it's exceptional <laughs> it literally is exceptional for a start what, what does it mean by greatly reduce hip spread now you can see i'm using a laser sight now this weapon is absolutely insane off the hip and when i say insane i mean insanely accurate and stacking that with laser just it just enhances that and you'll see from the intro that um, I have no difficulty in hosing down the enemy whilst not aiming down my sights and this is a great gun for close quarters but equally you probably can tell uh, with the increased range this gun seems to hold its own at long ranges also now me personally as a class suggestion I run quick draw uh, rifled barrel and the likes of a laser sight and because it is what I would refer to as a rusher, rusher definitely a rusher's gun I also use the likes of dexterity and ghost gun hole and then you're gonna need to put scavenger on I didn't have it open whilst recording this gameplay here but um, that is a suggestion it would also pair up greatly with synaptic as your rig and his trait which is propulsion anybody who is using a controller like a scoff battle beaver or anything like that this is going to be so much fun to use this gun with that particular controller because of its weapon perks it's almost as if you're aiming down sight now if you're anything like me I will jump and shoot somebody and I will start to shoot before I actually aim down sight and this is where this gun comes into its own because you will actually land your shots that you weren't aiming down sight and just continue to hit that that person that you're shooting at and the time to kill on this gun is actually really really quick because of this you will notice from the get-go that the full boss looks slightly different to its average counterpart the uh, iron sight is definitely different it's a circle which is subjective to whether people f prefer it or not it definitely looks like the vector from previous call of duty games which is here and all there because i'm sure you guys want to see what it's like you can see me jumping around here and just doing as much as I can to show you in a game play this gun off the hip and using the benefits of the particular weapon in question. The great thing about this gun is it's not behind any type of what you would refer to as a paywall. You do not have to get this gun through supply drops. What you actually have to do is complete the missions for the mission teams and this is basically the top unlock and another benefit to going for this particular gun here is you will actually unlock the FHR nuclear variant also just before you get this gun so that is even more of an incentive for you to go for the epic version of the Karma 45. So are there any cons to this weapon? Yes the first thing that you probably notice is the recoil pattern will take some time to master it's similar to a circular motion but it mainly goes from left to right and you will find it very difficult to land shots at any distance with this gun yes it is a smg but even with rifled barrel and its weapon perk you will still find it hard to hit people at range but overall for range there isn't another smg that comes close in my opinion it's also worth noting that this gun has a fast fire rate but its downfall is the dual magazine now even though they claim this dual magazine is to aid reload speed i find this far too slow 
considering how quickly you would deplete your ammo and for that reason you must run dexterity also you're going to need scavenger because you're going to deplete your ammo in basically six enemies once you've killed six enemies you you're more than likely going to have no ammo left so you need to run scavenger and dexterity i'd also suggest running gung ho and you will have one hell of a setup if you're a rusher is this the ultimate rusher's gun in my personal opinion yes it is and on that basis this is definitely an epic weapon not to forget it's not behind a paywall you do not have to get it in a supply drop you can grind out the team missions and do the little missions like getting 10 kills in a game and once you get to level 50 the karma 45 phobos is yours and for that reason it definitely is epic guys there are many buttons you could hit but the like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.